supposed to be a short break for Leon S. Kennedy. Just one last pit stop at a gas station on the outskirts of town. Rookie cop found himself surrounded by in a sea of zombies. Along with a newfound friend, Claire Redfield, Leon managed to escape to Raccoon City only for an accident to split them apart. Deftly navigating through the perilous streets, Leon has made his way to the city's police station. Has he really made it to safety? Has that happened? Let's find out. Oh, gotta go. Hello? Is anybody here? We'll mess with all this stuff later. Figuring out how inventory works and whatnot. There has to be someone here. Let me know if the game volume needs to be adjusted as well. Not good. David, Marvin, you there? Do cutscenes count? It's in here. I'll let this one play out and then we'll look. Yes, me. Send reinforcements. East hallway. I gotta find that guy. <laughs> I gotta find that guy. We just let a cutscene play. It looks like that does count. Because we've already lost a minute. So, anything in here? Oops. Map. Yes. We're in the main hall. We need to get to the watchman's room. I think we come back through that area. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure uh, Leon will be feeling that way soon once he meets Ada for the first time. Say fuck it to everybody else. is new. Man, Leon is running super slow. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's weird because you have the familiarity of the setting, but totally different uh, feel here. <laughs> he hands, yeah. He's ready for commitment immediately. Looks like there's three uh, medals now. That needs a key. That needs a knife. Maybe we can squeeze under this. for that. We don't need no lights. You got this. <laughs> do it, Leon. You can do it. <laughs> it seems like this is the standard demo we've seen from events. Jesus. Open up! Hurry! Open up! Open this goddamn door! I'll get you out! Please. I don't know if this is gonna work out, Leon. Help me. I got you. Stop pulling. <laughs> Oops. That didn't really help, Leon. <laughs> Is that guy's entrails? <laughs> Do not obstruct. Ooh. Diary. Officer's notebook. So yeah, it looks like we need three medals to get past 
whatever that obstacle is. No longer just the unicorn metal for a key. Looks like it goes down underneath to the parking garage. Okay. Goat. There's stuff. How much time do we have left? Okay, we've only wasted about five minutes. Hello. Oh. Back off, buddy. Let's go. Back to where we came from. Which was this way? Hello. They're everywhere. Uh. Excuse me. Excuse me, please. Oh my god, doubling up on you? That's bad. Oh my god. They can double up on you? Oh, not good. Run the guy. What the hell? Wow, that's crazy. Yeah, dude, I've Thanks. only been chomped on by two zombies at the same time, and I'm already in, like, orange okay. caution. <laughs> there was another officer I, I, couldn't, I couldn't... Here. What's up, Marvin? I'm sure you did what you could, Leon. Thanks. Oh yeah, shouldn't I be skipping cutscenes? Does anyone know what started this? We'll come back to these. Got our knife. What is our inventory? Wait, where did my where did that knife go again? <laughs> Don't worry, that's all my blood. <laughs> well, let me check something. We've got 2310. I bring up this menu, wait about 10 seconds. It looks like it was still counting down in that menu. It said menus don't affect the timer. Actually, it's a that's a different character. I'm blanking on his name right now. His time there too. Um, and it's not Enrico. It's gonna bother me. Yeah, it's a it's a different uh different character. This is our combat knife, which has a like a meter on it. Uh, condition. You can't just like constantly use it. Is there health laying around? I'm pretty sure if you die, it locks you out. We want to make sure we at least make it to the end. Yeah, where are these uh, native herbs? <laughs> Marvin, you don't got anything for me, bro? I'd say right now for sure I'm definitely not liking the speed of the running. <laughs> like it's doing a light job. I don't know if that's intentional for the demo or that'll change. It's definitely an RE7 box. This is not how I imagined my first day. Uh, really boy. Alright. Yeah, I forgot we have to actually put it into our inventory. It doesn't just automatically. Fine. Yeah, I know exactly. That's the same thing in RE7. <laughs> when you had to get a uh, knife to open up the box in the very beginning. Like, couldn't you just tear that tape right off? We gotta check out this guy. So gnarly.
So that needs a key, you can't do anything there. Open window. Say the lighting looks pretty good so far. Hello. <laughs> we can choose to board up certain doors. For anyone that's just joining now, um, this is just like the first playthrough, so I'm just trying to get through to the very end so we can jump in as many times as we want. Because as far as what I've been told, you have to complete the objective in your first run in order to come back into the demo multiple times. Otherwise they lock you out and you just get a trailer, so... Leave that boy alone. Because where are we headed right now? We have an objective. I think we're just heading up and around back to Marvin. Getting up to the library. Ooh, let's get that. We won't combine yet. Can we go in here? We can. Is this still the dark room? Definitely explore this later. Ooh, red herb. Hello. Go ahead and use that now. I'll pick up these boards just in case it's going to come in here. I don't think we have to worry about these halls right now. Since we're just trying to get to the end. Yeah, it's weird. I've been hearing so many different things. I've been hearing that regardless, you can just jump into the demo and play for half an hour over and over again. I've heard that you get a half hour to complete it. And if you don't complete it, all you get is a trailer and you can't play again unless, of course, you, like, manipulate it in some way by logging into a different profile or... Oh, see ya. <laughs> That's pretty realistic. Yeah, yeah. I think official word, like, official press release said you get 30 minutes to try and complete your, like, whatever objective is given to you, which I think is just us getting around here and reaching Marvin again. If you do that... And you get the freedom to just jump back in the demo. Like, you get to play it for a half hour over and over again, which means there's no rush after this first playthrough. Because, like, if you don't complete it, then they just lock you out from trying it. So I figure I might just try to complete it on the playthrough that we're on now so we don't have to even, like, work about doing any workarounds. Ooh. Hello. Hopefully, we don't have to deal with those guys in this demo. That way we can just keep jumping in um, and spending a... Can you buying these? Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's all been kind of like hearsay. It's weird. Um... Unofficial stuff. But, um, yeah, right now I'm just trying to. Different. <clears throat> Get this first initial playthrough out of the way so we can jump back in and just spend a half hour doing as much as we can each time. Hey, hip pouch. I think this might go to the library, yeah. Okay. Leon, it's Marvin. I need you back Ooh, here. That guy's time. snacking. Are you okay, Marvin? I've got something to show you. It's important. Copy that. We have right 16 there. minutes left. I think we're gonna fall through the floor if we go. Certain way, which 
Let's get back to Marvin and then see what happens with this whole demo thing. Eat bullets. So if you actually hold your aim, it'll get more concentrated. Oh, that thing's still alive. I think this might end it, and then we'll get a new trailer, and then we'll just start jumping back in and checking stuff out. There you are. Come here. Take a look. Jess. I knew she'd make it. Oh, you know her? Our girl Claire. Yeah. Name's Claire. I came into town <laughs> with her. Yeah, she's my best friend. <laughs> can get to that courtyard. Through the second floor. East side. <laughs> I'm on it. Thanks, Lieutenant. <laughs> okay. Thank you for playing. What a great playthrough that was. Completion 1055 Zero Retro. No picture of Ada? I guess we get a new trailer now, right? And supposedly it's a trailer they haven't released yet either. I want to find out what's happening here. She's the one at Umbrella responsible for unleashing the virus. Seems to be evolving much faster than expected. You gotta be kidding me. God only knows what's down here. What the hell? It'll be all over Let me soon. Go! I'll get you, iron. fucker! Nita! Sherry, I'm coming! I'm not handing over anything! Oh, Jesus Christ! that? Ah! You don't know what you're up against. The whole place is coming down. That's a pretty damn good idea. Hey. Definitely uh, more story this time around, huh? This is Hunk from Ooh. Alpha Team. <laughs> Man, I thought you were all wiped out. What a Hunk. Oh, shit. Tofu! <laughs> I think that's what we all came here for, right? Tofu? <laughs> uh, no. We've done that. Okay, so we've completed it. Let's see what happens here. Ew, that's interesting. So it does only let you jump in with the remaining time left. That's weird. Hmm. Well, obviously there's ways around that, so I would think. All right, well, let's jump back in and see what we can check out. If it ends up that uh, the timer still runs out during like files and stuff like that, then we'll just find a way to just keep jumping into this and checking it out. Hello? Is anybody here? What's this? Here we got our inventory. Hilda. Yeah, me either. I mean, I know he's supposed to feel like a like a young rookie kid, but not really digging it so far. Not crazy about his look either, but I guess I'm just so used to a certain look for Leon that that's probably just getting in the way. Orientation letter. On behalf of the RPD, congratulations on completing your training. Your especially high marks are to be commended, and we couldn't be prouder to have you as a member of our force. Please report for orientation at the Raccoon City Police Department. Look forward to serving you. I think we've seen just about everything that we can see in this room, so let's go back into what we're doing here.
Yeah, for sure. Man. The, the overall, like, art direction, lighting, all that stuff looks great. Um, it's just some of the character designs that I'm not crazy about. But I know the other problem is that now, with, like, facial capture and, like, stuff like that in video games, it's, like, they're getting back into the same thing, like, movies and TV shows have, like, the same problem where they just are confined to whatever actors they can find instead of crafting the look of whatever they want, you know? That's a lot. Yeah, I don't even... I wonder, too, if they would have even went with Mercer since he's been kind of the voice of, like, the more grizzled, like, older Leon. I don't know. Maybe they would have asked him to still do it anyway. Try to go for a younger Leon. Um, not for a long time, Mike. I just wanted to jump in tonight and check this out a little bit, and then I'm going to do a longer one tomorrow. Checking it out. I just want to try and discover as much as we can in this. Oh, hey. Bullets. I maybe shot like less than 10 shots early in that last playthrough. <laughs> yeah, get some, get like one big name actor. <laughs> and then the rest, pe the rest of the people are just voice actors. Okay. So I guess this is supposed to be the new briefing room or press room. Okay. Hmm. No? <laughs> that'd be great. Yeah, that'd be totally believable. His voice as a rookie. <laughs> Toilets. That's new. Never before seen in a resident. Hey, first aid spray. Oops. Check this out. Looks pretty plain. No umbrella logo? <laughs> I hear subtle music in the background, but it's not really coming through. I don't know if you guys can hear that. Audio does just, just seem quieter on my end, for whatever reason. It seems to be coming through on your end much louder. This place Jesus. is a mess. <laughs> Chain. logo. Can't read that. If anyone out there wants to see something specific, please let me know. There's something like an area you want me to check out or a certain thing in the menus or the inventory. I can skip this as well because we saw this earlier. All this, which we can't even do anything with. Ooh, things bending. If you want to see how the zombies react to certain shots, we could actually test that out right now with this guy. Give him a few leg shots. Shot a leg off. Look at that. Oh my god. Gotta shoot an arm off. Jeez. You can get it, bud. Probably get the knife and test out some more of this damage stuff. Oh, he's gonna bust through. I think we've seen everything we can see here anyway, so let's get out of here. Let's try to Jesus! They're everywhere! Try to put 
put down one of these things. We don't get double chomped. No damage run, no damage run. <laughs> Honestly, all you need to know is that this place will eat you alive if you aren't careful. Yeah, well, we I didn't want to start this last earlier. week, and I got a call to stay away. I wish I'd come here sooner. You're here now, Leon. That's all that matters. Okay, Lieutenant. Also, let me know if game audio needs to come up or down. Hopefully, you'll be able to find a way out of this station. That officer you met earlier, Elliot. Okay, the, the mirrors in the bathroom can't have reflections, but the puddles can. <laughs> This is good news. We can get you to hospital. No, no, I am not the priority. At least they're keeping Leon I'm not naive. just gonna leave you here. <laughs> I'm giving you an order, rookie. You save yourself first. I'd come with you, but I just slow you down. Now, you'll need this. I can't take it. Stop. Him. And don't make my mistake. If you see one of those things, Uniform Freeze game? Got not. it. You do not hesitate. You take it out. Or you run. Got it? Yes, sir. Let's see if I can adjust it in the menu, too. Combat knife. Voice all the way up. All the way up. Still not on Steam yet? Boo. Dolby Atmos. Guess we'll just leave it on this. Yeah, that's what I'm playing it on currently. I checked PlayStation first and nothing, which I wasn't surprised because they don't really update their store too well. It was like a weird time that they put stuff on there. Um, but Xbox is usually, Microsoft's usually good about putting stuff up right away. Yeah, I don't know how things usually release on Steam, like if, you know, they're usually pretty on point with that stuff or not. So we have... Six minutes currently on this profile to check it out. I guess we don't get to restart it at all, as, as I was told, if you beat it. Oh yeah, didn't we get a, uh... Yeah. So what was this? Lion, brown, eats a goat. Bird, baby, unicorn. What symbols do we have to work with here? What else did she have on her? Air? What's that? They see the the bird with the twig or whatever, the harp, or whatever that's called. But what's pointing to her head? Or is that just pointing the unicorn towards her? Hmm. Hey, Her Nation. Thank you for the follow. Welcome. Oh, really? That's interesting. Everything's the same as usual. Hmm. Look in here. Does this make a difference? Is that louder on your end?
Hmm. These are definitely part of it, right? Probably gonna like run out of time just trying to figure this out. This is the lion, right? There's a crown. Hmm. Goat, crown, bird with a twig. We've definitely seen all of these things. Puzzle down. I'm just gonna start checking out the areas, see what's like laying around, check out any files that might be cool too. It looks like we were here. That room was locked. Pretty much all that other stuff was locked. There's no getting in there. But with the knife, we can go into a whole another area yet, so. run faster Leon we're on a time limit dude Let's get this metal out of our inventory Ooh. Ooh. they give you a little tease so of what's Elliot coming was right yeah but the passage isn't open yet all right Leon good, good investigation <laughs> So I have a feeling we're not going like, to run into any gunpowder, because I was interested to see how that works a little bit. I got to see it a little bit in the Claire demo at New York Comic Con. You know, you can craft, like, uh, <clears throat> different grenade ammo and machine pistol ammo and stuff. I think there was like at least three types similar to Resident Evil 3. Check that out. Hey, Marvin, Officer of the Month. Go, bud. The liquor was here. Ooh. Yeah, I'm not excited about dealing with those guys in this new one. So that's going to kick us out. Let's see what happens. Once we beat it, let's see if it lets us jump back in. If not, we'll just find a workaround to keep playing in here. So, Time up. Yeah, right. Um, I guess I'll let this play out just in case there's anyone here that hasn't seen this yet. 
I want to find out what's happening here. She's the one at Umbrella responsible for unleashing the virus. Seems to be evolving much faster than expected. You gotta be kidding me. God only knows what's down here. What the hell? It'll be all over Let me soon. Go! I'll get you, you fucker! Uh, Nita! Sherry, I'm coming! I'm not handing over anything! Oh, Jesus Christ! Who's that? Ah! You don't know what you're up against. The whole place is coming down. That's a pretty damn good idea. Oh my god. This is Hunk from Alpha Team. Man, I thought you were all wiped out. I know they've confirmed it before, but it's kind of cool to see actual like visual confirmation of Hunk and Tofu. <laughs> With that stars beret on top. All right, so they don't they don't give you a refresh timer. That's bullshit. I was told if I beat it, I got to play it as much as I want. Well, let me try. Thirty minutes back on the clock. All right. <clears throat> I'll probably skip a lot of the beginning stuff since. As far as anyone that's been here during this stream has already probably seen it, so that way we can see more of the later the stuff later on. It would have been cool if they um <laughs> Outlook.com, nice. <laughs> um it would have been cool if they like added um, some kind of secrets to this, like they did for the Resident Evil Seven demo. I did like how that demo was like its own thing. But hello, is anybody here? All right. So, like I said, we'll get past this initial stuff. We can see more of the uh, content later on. That's why you guys are here, right? Fresh content. You want me to see? You want to see someone speed run? No, not for the demo. No, I think this is similar to the demos they've had at different events. <clears throat> you kind of just start right here in the uh, in the lobby. Just do a little bit of exploring before it cuts you off. So yeah, we already kind of explored this whole hallway. <clears throat> um, this here is like the new briefing room. Like press room. I'm gonna go grab the first aid spray that's in the bathroom. Yeah, it looks really good. The RE engine in general looks great. I mean, Devil, Devil May Cry 5, like, even. Gosh, this controller. Okay. We're going wired on this bitch. <laughs> I think Phil Spencer's trying to force me to buy an Xbox One X. That's what's happening. Because this controller is on, it's lit, it has fully, fully, uh, fresh batteries. And it keeps disconnecting. So. Get wired up here. And we're good. How did that eat at my time? Okay, cool. Um, I do agree with you, Skate Sean. Also, welcome. I do think it's weird that, um, so far I have seen a lot of similar, like, there's two, there's two sides to that coin, basically. Because I have noticed there's, like, very similar objects in RE2 Remake that's in RE7. But on the flip side, the reason for that, I think, is because the RE engine actually uses, like, scanned real-world objects. So there's the part of it where you can be like, oh, well, they're just reusing those same real-world items that they scanned. But it's like, yeah, they probably could go out and find some new, like, 
metal box with tape around it to scan. <laughs> but, um... Oh, and you're also talking about ammo art, too. Yeah, so a lot of this stuff, like, if you look in the menus and whatnot, like... Some of this stuff is actually real-world scanned stuff. Is what they use is something called, like, photogrammetry or something like that. I don't know if they just made up that word. Probably. But, um... Uh... Yeah, I know what you mean. It's, like, it's very similar... Art in some of this stuff, but they do have some new stuff. Like, herbs look totally different. Um, obviously there's, like, so much stuff that we haven't seen in an RE game before in here, but... You could argue Open that it actually uh, kind of door! has some consistency in the in the, the RE world up. that everyone has like same type of ammo, right? <laughs> we'll skip this since we've seen this already. But yeah, I know what you mean. It would have been nice to see some kind of like stuff that would make more sense. Um. Considering it's like how many decades before RE7. <laughs> Jesus! They're everywhere! Ooh, headshot. Oh. Like full on blow off a head headshot. Hmm. Good question. I'm only I'm on Xbox One X or X One One X. I'm on an Xbox One S right now. So yeah, it's probably capped at 30. My eyes aren't that great at catching FPS, but I would I would assume it's 30. <laughs> yeah, Mike. We know you're not a hostile dude. <laughs> Mainly in the game, I haven't messed around with too much. It does seem. Um, from what I've seen in like, we'll we'll check it out here in the next section. But from what I've seen in like demos online, it's kind of, eh. <laughs> also, it like hurts the condition of your um of your knife. So it, probably for me, I won't use it much. But it is good as a secondary weapon. I think it's more that than anything. If you remember from Resident Evil One remake, you could find um. You can find knives and flashbang grenades and all that kind of stuff in in RE one remake. You couldn't use them on their own. You can only use them as like counters if you get grabbed. In this one, you can actually use the items and you can use them as secondary stuff. So, um, for example, the knife and flashbangs. And I don't know if there's something else Leon grabs, but if you get grabbed by an enemy, even like a boss like Birkin, you can use those secondary items to like get out of the the hold and like take either less damage or no damage. Um, I don't really see myself using the knife as, like, a weapon. I'm probably going to only use it as a, like, a, as a counter to keep crap off of me. So Elliot was right. Yeah. Look at that last Passage up. isn't open yet. Run a knife only speed run. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but yeah, I can show you what this looks like um, in this next section here. In this melee stuff. But yeah, you see that box and that tape that looks straight out of RE7. <laughs> but they like put a window on it. <laughs> this is not how I imagined my first day. This sounds like uh, the Baker's um, garage door. <laughs> Yeah, even though it's not tank controls, it does feel like you were mentioning, like you you do feel a little slower. But I also feel like you run faster in the original than you do in this. <laughs> yeah, I like showing off this part. It's pretty gnarly. locked. 
So you can board up windows now. Keep stuff from coming in. Nothing else in this hallway, right? Just around the corner there. Hooray. Hooray. <laughs> that dude broke in. Alright, let's see some knife action here. So now you can use it as a secondary weapon. Push people off of you. So you can see the knife, like, easily cut off a limb. And now I can get my knife back, but you can see how much... That hurt that knife just from slicing a little bit. And also it doesn't really feel worth it. I mean, at least in the demo right now, these things just keep getting up. So like, it feels almost kind of pointless to even use these knives on... I don't know what it's going to do for like, knife only runs with speedrunners, but... Um, yeah, I don't know. Look at that. I'm already like, I already have a broken knife. So... Kind of a bummer. That's what I'm saying, like, I don't really see myself using the knife as, like, a standard weapon. As of right now, I mean, I don't know what other knives we'll find throughout the game. Or if there's a way to repair them, or if there's a way to make them stronger throughout the game. So, I think I'm mostly going to stick to using that as, like, a, a counter to get, get things off of me. Weapons locker key card, so we'll go check that out. File, record of events. September 25th. We're turning the station into a temporary shelter due to the massive sudden outbreak. All police personnel have been instructed to make the safety of citizens their top priority as we try to accommodate as many of them as possible. Yeah, that's true. I'm definitely against condition on weapons, but it does make sense. You can't just, like, use a weapon on a million zombies and it'd be fine. <laughs> um, summer 25th. One of the refugees attacked us in the middle of the night, resulting in the death of one officer and injuring three others. The person in question was quickly restrained. We believe this was simply a case of someone snapping under intense stress. September 26th. A mob attacked the station today, resulting in a number of casualties. A few survivors were able to make it safely behind the emergency shutters. But surrounded as we are, it would be hard for any of us to escape this place. We're not sure if we can fix any of our comm equipment. We remain cut off from the outside world. Yeah, I don't think that'll ever happen, Darth. <laughs> just, like, I don't mean that in a mean way. Just with it being a PlayStation exclusive, I don't think it'll ever be anywhere but PlayStation platforms. Uh, September 27th, there was another clash on the west side of the station. Twelve people died. Now, did that eat into our time? I can't tell. I was told files don't. I was also told that we could keep coming back into this once we've actually completed it. It looks like the area that normally has like the fireplace and the jewel is locked by a chain. Let's see, we have 1908 on the clock. Let's see what happens here. Oh, map. Yeah, no, I, yeah, I know what you mean, Sean. As far as I've heard, there's, I assume it's going to be, like, similar to RE7, where they had, like, Madhouse mode and stuff. Um, I've heard that they have plans, like, for, like, extra difficulty modes after you beat it for more hardcore players that want to have, like, ink ribbons and more classic stuff like that. Um, but yeah, I'm hoping for more than just that, you know, like, other, like, I'd like to see a couple, like maybe one or two more different kind of modes of playing the game. Um, I'd like to even see like maybe being able to like swap Leon and Claire, like like you know scenario A, scenario B type stuff. I highly doubt that'll happen, but there's definitely like a harder difficulty mode that really limits you in ways that I'm sure the main game won't, because it's going to be more open for players that aren't like um, used to classic RE stuff. Yeah, I agree with you. Yeah, I don't want to have to go through, like, I understand there's, like, probably people there that just want to start with, like, having to get ink ribbons and stuff like that. 
they don't want to have to do a whole full playthrough of just plain Jane stuff. As far as I know, they haven't. All they've said is that there's two campaigns. There's a Leon campaign and a Claire campaign. In original Resident Evil 2, there's two campaigns, and you can play either one as like Leon and Claire. But in this, it's just they have two separate campaigns. So, and they haven't really clarified if it's like gonna switch on its own in one playthrough, or if it is pick Leon's thing or pick Claire's thing. I think they've said in some interviews that it will be like pick one or the other. But I don't think I've seen anything official on that. Um, but I think it is still just going to be like start up the game. You're going to probably like play a little bit as Leon, play a little bit as Claire. But I would like to just be able to like pick Leon's campaign or pick Claire's campaign. But we'll see. Because I have a feeling this is going to follow in a lot of the footsteps of uh, Revelations too, and kind of how you swapped between Claire and Barry. In like episode format i don't think it'll go episode format but it'll definitely feel like i think i wouldn't be surprised if you swap back and forth as you play snack boy holy crap a mess oh my gosh bullets everywhere just Oh, you mean, oh, I see what you're saying. You don't want to go into a hard mode with, like, everything unlocked. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, I agree with you there. Yeah, that dude is definitely not dead. Let's go check out the, uh, locker room. Let's, can we get in here? Oh, we can. <gasps> the office, that's right. Oh, hello. Who that? That's where we were earlier. Yeah, because I know in um, Resident Evil 7, by the time you get to, like, Madhouse mode and stuff, it's like you already have, like, crazy crap unlocked. Oh! Woo! I'm done. Okay. Wait, isn't there a uh, reference to um, Kevin from Outbreak in here? Edward. Hey, bud. Give me a second to read this file there. Operation report. November 28th, 2.30 a.m. <clears throat> so that should be right about, like... Actually, I think that's the night before this, so... It's down to just me and three others. No weapons, no ammo, and too many skirmishes have drained us mentally and physically. We're not gonna make it. Officer Phillips once suggested we escape through the sewers. Apparently there's a secret tunnel under this place, left over from its museum days. I brushed her idea off before, but now it's not sounding all that bad. Yeah, there's no proof that there's even a tunnel or that sewers aren't infested with zombies, but I don't want to sit here and wait to die either. It's a long shot, but I'm going to try to find out what I can do about that tunnel. <laughs> Was it like uh, 1 a 1 a.m. for you, Mike? Nice. Who's still alive? Is this still two two three six? Probably not, huh? Actually, no, that would have been in a different spot anyway, than the other office. Please die. Still not dead. Who else is up? Oh, Shit. big boys trying to get through the door. Oh, no. Uses of gunpowder. Oh, okay, gunpowder is in here. <clears throat> the two regular gunpowder is handgun, gunpowder and high grade, which is yellow, is shotgun. Two yellow is mag ammo. No, I see what you're saying there, Sean. I agree. Um, I think that's just the nature of modern games. Like, I think Capcom realizes that they like have to make the game easy. Is not the right word, but like. 
completable. <laughs> they need to make sure people can actually get through it that aren't like hardcore RE players. And I, yeah, I totally get what you're saying. Madhouse was probably the only mode that felt like you were actually like challenged. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know. That's what I'm. I'm hoping that's a sign of that too, Xavier. Having the gunpowder in here, I hope that means RE3 is on the slate. <laughs> Oh, wait, they took the puzzle out? I saw in, like, other demos, they had a um, puzzle here where you had to, like, learn your, like, fellow police officer's names and, like, use it to unlock his desk. Um, I don't know why they didn't leave it in here. So that uses a key. All right, I think we've explored enough in here. We can move on. I wonder if there's an actual answer to that safe or if it's just there to play with. What do you mean by that? The T-virus zombie health. You said there's a change. Uh, can we drop something? I know we find a red herb in here. I hmm. wonder how many film rolls we're going to find. <gasps> the saver music? Ooh. Film contains evidence. Do not leave out. Are there any special costumes in here? There we go. Find this. My gosh, there's so much ammo in this demo. <laughs> Here's an example of how you can board up a window get dudes out. There's like a certain area of the game that you're going to be like running through a lot. Oh yeah. No, yeah, that's that's one thing I'm I'm excited to to see how it plays in the game too is um like I've definitely noticed that uh just because the zombie goes down does not mean it stays down unless you like completely remove the head. So I agree with you. That That is exciting to see how that plays into the game. Because it definitely feels like you can't just... Um, let's just talk about herbs. Here. Um, it definitely makes you decide like what you want to waste ammo on and what you don't. Because you're just going to have to keep putting something down if you want to hang out in a room. Unless you completely take it out. Like we did earlier with those, those couple headshots we had. Check out this room. So is this where we use this guy? Weapons locker key card. <laughs> Thoughts on the hat? I love it and hate it at the same time. It definitely, <laughs> definitely hard to take him seriously, but at the same time, it does add like a weird level of creepiness, especially with um. Oh boy, steel boy. Especially with uh, the fact that I don't I don't know if in, who knows this here, but if you shoot off his hat in any way, he has to go back for it. Like uh, it help it can help you like stall him basically. He has like a weird obsession with his hat. <laughs> like anytime it gets knocked off, he takes the time to like pick it back up and put it on his head. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. 
Or that you can equip and unequip from the menu here. It's like the D pad. Cool. All right, let's try to get a headshot here. Oh my god. <laughs> I love the positions they end up in. We have a 203. We have a 208. I imagine we probably can't get any of that stuff, right? 109. 106. 103. Can't do any of those. Can do 106. 109. Oh, we can go develop some film. Oops. <laughs> Face down, ass up. Hell yeah. Bullet overload. Go develop some film. How much time do we have? Nine minutes. And then, luckily, uh, our trusty mob, Boogie, set up a new account for us <laughs> so we can jump in one more time before I call it a night. First, let's examine this. Keep it look commemorative. An undeveloped roll of film commemorative is written on it. Ah, another clue. There he is, baby. That's all it shows us, huh? Or we we'll, uh, won't be able to make use of that in this demo. All right, let's head upstairs. Hey there, Zack. Oh yeah, earlier we made this guy fall off the uh, upper floor here. That was pretty cool. <laughs> Men's locker room. Alright, well you stay out. I'm getting changed. It's weird that that zombie, like, keeps respawning back up onto the stairs. Oh man, put away that green herb, too. Oh, it was hand blocked what the shot. The that doesn't do shit. <laughs> They are really generous with the handgun ammo here. Another one. I don't think we've seen anything that gives us clues to that those things yet. Pretty sure this is the uh is that the mannequin from the RE7 demo? And just RE7 in general. <laughs> Six minutes. What in the that liquor? <sighs> it's easy to do. What's easy about it? Oh, to any survivors, consider this a gift for anyone that's unfortunate. Keep your eyes peeled for those creepy fucks that look like they were skinned alive. Liquors, we call them. They're blind as bats, but they're hearing more than makes up for that. We knew that. So as long as you don't run around like a total idiot, guns a-blazing, you should be able to slip right by them. Probably. Either way, make like my grandma and creep around as slow as possible around him, eh? Anyway, not that I want to go, but duty calls. 
That and I've got a friend who hates it. Hope there's a whole David sub subplot like in Last of Us with uh, what's his face. Uh, who's that dude with the ship? Uh, we won't bother picking that up. Yeah, we won't bother with that either. You say I do like the environments. You said that one was easy to do. It's what? what like, did we get some kind of clue as to what um, this combination is? Oh, probably RPD. Is that what, is that what it is? Huh? <laughs> I don't know. I've noticed like the music is really like muted so far. At. At. Sad. <laughs> hmm. We've got like the end of the alphabet, beginning of the alphabet. Is it RPD? I didn't see a P here. I can do RDP. <laughs> Maybe that was the one in the uh, the other locker room. I'll have to try that on in our next go around. That looked like a big shit pile. <laughs> Why does this uh, police department have like an unfinished attic? <laughs> oh, we're running out of space, huh? Isn't there a uh, thingy over here? Some guy's scribblings. <laughs> Damn those corporate assholes, they cut me off. After all I've done for them, if that's how it's gonna be, so be it. I'm going to have a little fun of my own as the world goes to shit. I boarded up all those filthy pigs up in a steel pen. I boarded, a, I boarded all those filthy pigs up in a steel pen and set some C4. All I got to do is detonate it and it's sayonara, suckers. Definitely, definitely back in the 90s. But it's no fun if it's over too soon. So maybe I'll give that one raving loon something to really squeal about. Is there things moving around me right now? Do you guys hear that? <laughs> Yeah, maybe I'll give him a little toy and tell him, kill the guy next to you and I'll spare the others. wonder what he'll do. You yell about justice and pride, but how many times did you go against me, your own superior? Yeah, you're such a good cop. So good you had to die. Man, this is fun. Man, is this fun. I need some music for this. Is this, like, Irons writing this down? <laughs> some other wacko. So the C4 is up here now. Oh my gosh, they all each other. Hey, look at that. They're metal. How much time is left here? Minute 56. Let's make our way to the uh I need you back here ASAP. Are you okay, Marvin? I've got something to show you. It's important. <laughs> right there. We'll make our way to the um end of the demo here and then start off fresh and check out this area a little more. We'll save up our ammo for these guys. Yeah, we solved that puzzle earlier and put in one metal. And uh, I'll just let this play out for any of you that haven't seen this yet. This in the new trailer. Yes, I knew she'd make it. You know her? 
Yeah. Name's Claire. I came into town with her. You can get to yeah, that courtyard. I'm pretty cool. Through the second floor. East side. <laughs> I'm on it. Cool, too, how their, uh, Lieutenant. like, their patches on their arms, like, reflect their actual status, too, like, their rank. Marvin said lieutenant. Um, Leon said, like, detective or something. I want to find out what's happening here. She's the one at Umbrella responsible for You yeah, haven't heard any virus. official news on PS4 so release time yet. You gotta be kidding me. God only knows what's down here. What the hell? It'll be all over Let it soon. Go! I'll get you, you fucker! Player language. Sure, I'm, coming. I'm not handing over anything. Oh, oh, Jesus Christ. Cool to see some glimpses, ah, glimpses of the lab and stuff. The whole place is coming down. That's a damn good idea. I know, right? That's what I was saying earlier. It does remind me of like the same format as Revelations do. This is Hunk from Alpha Team. Man, I thought you were all wiped out. Wee Ah, Killer to King. Do like that uh hat. <laughs> I do wonder if they'll, um, like we were talking about earlier with, with the melee weapons, so far it seems here? like kind of completely rules out doing any kind of knife only run for people who like to do that stuff, but hopefully they add in some kind of, uh, like, new, new mode or different difficulty or something to allow that kind of thing. Or even an unlockable weapon where it's like you can do a knife only kind of thing. The inside here a little bit. Just can't go in there. You got this. And the Leon psyching himself up. Yeah, like I mentioned, we'll just fly through this first section so we can spend more time. Second half. First aid spray in that bathroom, if you know, you want to know that. That's chained up. Hurry! Can't go in there, that's Open locked up. up. Open this goddamn door! I'll get you out! I do like the variety in the, in the zombies, like, uh, character models, too. Like, so far I've, like, seen at least 10 to 15 different looking, uh, like, character models. Does anyone know what started this? I guess I'll, uh, show off this first puzzle for anyone that's interested in seeing that. What was it? Crown, lion, good. <laughs> Bing. I think there's some bullets over in that corner, but we don't. We're not really gonna use them, so we won't waste the time. So Elliot was right. Yeah, but the passage isn't open yet. 
Don't be a smart ass though. This is not how I imagined my first day. This looks good. Oof, look at all those. God, got messed up there. Oh, that's the first time that's happened. Oh, the dude's head split open. <laughs> Walked by that how many times and it never fell before. Uh, was there anything of significance in here besides documents? I do want to take a look at the map actually. See what's going on. We have a safety deposit room. That's okay. We've been there. We've been in the dark room. The west office, I don't think we've been into at all. Same with the records room. The west office is where we come back through. That's right. Okay, we have been in there. That's yeah, where you initially find Marvin in Classic RE2. East office, can't get into yet. That's where that fuse box is. So it does mark little areas that you've like little places you found like the goddess statue fuse box fire escape outside the east office break room bathroom boiler room irrigation room observation room okay a lot of the same rooms but in different layout um, not much on the second floor but it, yeah, we haven't found a map for that. All right. Let's get up to the second floor and check it out. All right, let's go get that uh, key for the shotgun. Uh, we won't bother with the gunpowder this time. That guy woke up. That guy's staying down though, that's interesting. Where did we find that, uh... Got his hand blocked the bullet. What the? Get our knife back. Oh, so that hurts the condition too when you use it as a uh, like as a counter. Good to know. Where did we find that? Uh... Isn't there. That key for the uh, shotgun. Was it in the dark room? No, I think we found it before that. Oh, I must have left it behind. Oh no. Alright, we can make it without the shotgun. I think it might have been in one of these lockers, though, right? Oh. Hmm. Yeah, I must have left it behind somewhere. 
What did we have? 106 and 109. Nah, we're not going to bother with that anyway. Yeah, we can't get any of these because we don't have the two. That just talks about the spare keys. Whoa, they pushed me. Whoa. That's crazy. So they kind of win by default in that sort of situation. I'm panicking. Lay down. <laughs> Maybe it was in one of these rooms. Yeah, I know, right? Exactly. <laughs> With a lot of these, like, Resident Evil puzzles, you kind of have to, like, suspend disbelief, right? Like, there's a lot of, like, puzzles and situations where you're like, wouldn't you just, like, kick down the door? Or, like, <laughs> you know, like, when a door says it's locked, it's like, I'm pretty sure you could shoot that uh, handle off with your gun. <laughs> Is it in this room? I wonder if that's going to be the case too with some of these guys. Like, this guy didn't get up this time. I wonder if that's going to be random or predetermined. Alright, well, no shoddy this time. I forget where we found that key earlier. Here was one of those locked lockers, right? Pick that up. In. <laughs> Fun getting up, buddy. Uh, he's just sliding down the stairs. Shit! This is pretty crazy. Just to see how like relentless. Son of a bitch. He can be. <laughs> you can really just like fuck with them, can't you? Yeah, I heard him do that too. Yeah, it's kind of it. cool how the, the dialogue's kind of contextual that way. God damn it. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Fuck, this guy won't give up. <laughs> I don't know, should I take off the other leg? See what happens. Make him completely mobile here. You done? Yeah, I think I think you're done. time do we have? Alright, let's get to the library so we can check that out. Yeah, I don't know if anyone can help me remember. This is definitely like 
a miniature mer version of like the mannequins in uh, RE7, right? I don't know if they were that detailed though, but it looks very similar. Or it's just like a little nod to RE7. What in the? It was the same one? Okay. Okay, we read that. Um, off to the library. Probably would have been nice to have a shotgun against <laughs> three dudes, but we'll make it work. Probably should have grabbed that gunpowder earlier, eh? Now I'm regretting it. I do like this, um, like, gradual progression with, like, inventory and stuff. I did like that in RE7 as well. Instead of just, like, one big one at some point, I like getting that gradual. Leon, it's Marvin. I need you back here ASAP. Are you okay, Marvin? I've got something to show you. It's important. Copy that. I'll be right there. This is kind of like the last hurrah here. Is there anything uh, you guys want to see as far as, like, what we can do to zombies, anyway? Interrupt their lunch. Oh, he was snacking on another dude. Okay, no, <laughs> that one's dead. Damn it! <laughs> Damn it! Because <laughs> we've tried uh, the knife on them. It's definitely like you definitely waste your knife trying to kill them with the straight up knife. But it's much more useful when you're using it as like a counter to being grabbed. If we try to go to that door, it'll just, uh, we'll just collapse through the floor, so we'll go this way. Let's see what happens when we take out a leg on the stairs again. Come on up. You just say fuck you. <laughs> I mean, even though he can't, like, kill them as easily, you can definitely, like, do what you can to, like, keep their movements from, keep them from moving around. You think? You think it's, that's not, yeah, I guess you're right. But I guess he is supposed to be, like, a, oh, here's another puzzle. So, this was... Harp, a bird, and something else. Nice, we can get two out of the three. The second floor map. Okay, look at this. Star's office. Hang on, how much time do we have? <clears throat> so we're currently in the lounge. Looks like there's... Okay, so this... There's just like another... Oh, okay, this is supposed to be the room between the library and the hallway where the star's office is. Looks like there's another room, a linen room. This is definitely way different from the normal room. Armory in the star's office. Interesting. Shower room. Oh, okay, that's where we were earlier. The valve and the dial lock. Oh, that's cool. It marks items, too, that you haven't picked up, that you interacted with but didn't pick up. Jack. Oh, the, I thought that was, like, someone named Jack, but that's the, <laughs> the Jack. Third floor. There's a board. I like, too, that, it, like, in RE1 Remake, it shows you which rooms are cleared out and which ones aren't with blue and red. It's nice to know. Lock tower. Storage room, balcony. Yeah, 
Yeah, I've, I've never really liked, I've never hated Leon as a character, but I've never really connected with him the way other people have. Um, so we'll, we'll see if he wins me over at all in this, this new version of him, but he's always been kind of like my, one of my not high on my list of favorite RE characters. <laughs> that's true. Yeah, that's true. We don't need another Jack. <laughs> Art room, private collection room. Okay, so this is like all stuff off of Chief's office there. Okay. Oh, they said that wouldn't count towards your time. Oh my god, they're spreading out. Oh my god, the one from the god stairs made it here. <laughs> Alright, can we dodge from this one? Ooh, kind of. Oh, another combat knife. Okay. It's gonna be weird picking up multiple knives. Climb ladders. Yeah. That'd be uh, weird if that wasn't in Resident Evil. <laughs> Disappointed that doesn't move around. <laughs> I do like the look of the library in this one. Just take all their legs out. Oh. <laughs> Keep trying to crawl through him. What is going on down there? Oh, he's getting back up. Okay. I mean, I, I agree with you. Is like his lines are kind of like weird for Leon to be saying, but at the same time I do like in general them adding these little like random things that he'd be saying to himself if he was like experiencing this for the first time. <clears throat> Being like, what the hell is going on? Anything else in here? Wait, how'd you get back up? Go for the ankles. Okay, this looks down on the uh, like that uh, reception area. Interesting. <laughs> yeah, this definitely gets me really stoked to jump in. Soon. I wonder if we can avoid ending the demo here. Go out this door. Eight minutes. <clears throat> oh, I wonder if there's a way we can loop back around. Without triggering something. Hmm. True. No, you're right. The, that part is out of context for him. I feel like I let it slide because he's like a youngin. <laughs> he's not as mature. <laughs> but uh I think they were definitely just trying really hard to go for the like the uh gritty realism way thing they were going for in RE7. Not so much campy. Cuz wasn't Ethan the same way? He was just like, "Man, fuck this, fuck that." So I definitely think the demo is just going to end if we go down there, so. Let's see what else we can do here. God, guys, give it up. 
What the? Hopefully it's not all the time either. Like he's not just like saying it every five seconds. You bastard. You bastard. <laughs> oh. See what happens when this actually breaks. Reversed my steps the original way. You mean just like in like tank control way? Oh yeah, can you do 180? I don't think you can do 180 turns in this. Whoa, that guy's crawling like a spider. What the hell? Dude. That's pretty, that's pretty freaky. We took out his one leg, right? Oh, what the hell? Oh. oh yeah yeah I, there's a um there's a cutoff point when we went through the um the like conference room what is that called in this one we came around operations room so when you come to this and we went up over here we can't go back so basically the only way to get to this area or wait a minute Hang on a sec. I mean, we can check out some of this stuff still, but I want to find out where I left the, um, that key. Oh, I was holding the wrong button. I was holding A. <laughs> Thanks for that heads up. Um... Yeah, because I'm like, I'm trying to think, what's the, uh, what's the run button here? And I'm used to, like, an RE4 and, like, these more third-person ones. It's usually the, whatever, uh, like, for Xbox, it's A. For PlayStation, it's X. But, yeah, Mr. Galactic, I, I still haven't heard official word on PS4. I know the unfortunate thing about PS4 is, like, they update their store at weird times, like, 2 p.m. Eastern or something. But I know Boogie was saying earlier that, um, for Steam, it's 10, 10 a.m., Pacific and like 1 p.m. Eastern, so I'd imagine it's the same time, probably. I'm playing on Xbox because that was the only thing that I saw where it was up like right at midnight on, in, on the Eastern, on East Coast, so. I think for PS4, it's probably going to be 10 p.m. Pacific, like 1 p.m. Eastern, so. That would be my guess, but I haven't heard anything official from anyone. I tried to find out myself because I was... Like, I preferred to play it on PlayStation. But, um... <clears throat> I, uh... Yeah, I haven't seen... I haven't been able to find any official word. No, let's not pick that up. Hmm. Can't really see much outside. And this third floor is a wreck, dude. Hm. Quick turn's a little weird. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we haven't like found any clues as to like these could be. About rack like raccoon. <laughs> Rap. I'm sure it's like someone's initials or something, right? September, maybe that would work. <laughs>
Two minutes left. I'll keep running around checking out stuff, and then as soon as this timer ends, this will be the end of our... Oh, look at this. This will be the end of our third time through this, so... <clears throat> I'll probably call it a, a night for tonight because I did just want to jump in a little bit and check it out. Um, I'll probably jump in again tomorrow once it's available on PlayStation and just try it a couple more times just to see what else I can find and figure out. Um, anyone that's new here, just so you know, um, I run a run. I don't speed run or anything, but I do play a lot of Resident Evil games and a lot of like new releases as well. So if you're interested in seeing stuff like that, we usually play that stuff quite a bit here. So. Feel free to follow the channel, anything like that. I appreciate the handful of you that are new, that are hanging out and chatting. Hello. What if they can grab you? Um, yeah, I always appreciate like meeting new people and stuff, so thanks for hanging out and chatting with me about this game. Wait for it to come out. We're usually pretty chill here. We just like hang out and chat and um, yeah, chill here. Down to seconds. Can we make it back to Marvin. Four seconds. <laughs> oh yeah, I guess we can actually go through the uh, the west office. Let's try that. But I think we got the. I think our key will go through that. Leon, go! Can we make it? We did. <laughs> like I said, I'll let this play out for anyone that hasn't seen it yet. There you are. Come here. Take a look. This is the uh, last yes. cutscene, and then there's a I new trailer going off some new stuff. You know her? Yeah. Name's Claire. I came into town with her. You can get to that courtyard through the second floor, east side. <laughs> I'm on it. Thanks, Lieutenant. What it says on my page. Thank you for playing. And me. 26 seconds to spare. We could have seen so much, guys. <laughs> I'm actually surprised how much they show in this new trailer. So if you guys don't want to see a lot, look away. I want to find out what's happening here. She's the one at Umbrella responsible for unleashing the virus. Quite a few uh, shots of like much faster than lab and Birkin and be kidding me. God only knows stuff. what's down here. What the hell? It'll Gator. be all over Let me soon. Go! I'll get you, you fucker! Gator! Sherry, I'm coming! I'm not handing over anything! Oh, Jesus oh, Christ! Who's that? Ah. You don't know what you're up against. The whole place is coming down. That's a pretty damn good idea. Woo! This is Hunk from Alpha Team. Man, I thought you were always <laughs> Woohoo! Ah, she got. Well, that was fun. Um, I apologize again for all that stupid uh, crap that Xbox was giving me for a little while there. But, um, but yeah, that's going to be it for me. Um, played through that a few times. So far, I'm I'm liking everything that's going on, except for like some of the movement stuff. I feel a little sluggish, but um, gunplay feels like it should. It feels like just good enough to like do some damage, but also a little off to like make you feel like you're not just like this powerhouse, you know? Um, game looks good graphically. Art style looks good. Lighting looks good. Yeah, just made me more excited for the game, so. <clears throat> um, 
thanks again to all, all you, the new people that hung out and chatted it up while we were playing through this and were patient through all that crap I was getting through with Xbox, but probably play the demo a few more times on PlayStation and then just do some more Resident Evil stuff, either Resident Evil 2 or um, maybe some Outbreak. I just kind of want to do like all the, play all the games that are kind of rooted in like the Raccoon City stuff to kind of see what they pull in from the older games, if anything at all, or they call back to any stuff. I don't know. I'm really, that's what I'm probably most interested to see, like how they handle the, the story and building out the stuff. I want to know if they're actually like continuing it off of the RE1 remake or if it's just its own thing. You know what I mean? Um, <clears throat> Cause like, for example, when we're in the star's office, is there going to be any pictures of Chris or Jill or Wesker or Barry? Are they going to look like RE1 remake? Chris and Jill? Or are they going to look like totally new actors that they've casted for possible future like more remakes like RE3 and stuff? So lots of questions. I think people were worried that putting out this demo would kind of like, you know, give you too much or make you less excited for the game. But there's, there's, from what I've seen, there's still so much to see. There's totally new areas that we haven't seen yet, like the orphanage and some other stuff. And so many questions to be answered. So I'm pretty stoked. But um, yeah, thanks again for everyone that hung out. And uh, like I said, follow if you want to see more here. If not. I'll see you again in the future because like I said I'll be playing plenty of this when it comes out so thanks again everyone next time